Actually, that's absolutely correct. And I think that, you know, because uh, as a teacher, I work with young people all the time. Mm. And one of the things they constantly say is, thank you for creating a safe space. Thank you for creating mm. a safe space. And the spaces that we are navigating now in life go beyond the classroom. They're obviously the home, the family, but they're yes. also these spaces online which are not safe. Exactly. The cyberbullying, the scammers, exactly. there's, you know, dating apps, mm. so many, many things to navigate. Mm. There's also being scammed via dating apps, yes. right? Yeah. So how do we protect ourselves? How do we know whether this scam is sophisticated or this scam is, you know, is really going to take my money or, or, or even take my how do you say it? My, my dignity, my emotions, my vulnerability. Okay. So three pointers. Uh, point number one is this. Um, how much money can you save by online as opposed to going retail? Let's say, mm. okay, for, the, for, your, you know, for your mind peace. Yeah. You know, peace of mind in a sense. Okay, so that's one. If you cannot buy uh, retail and you buy online, can you afford to? lose the money right yeah okay so i have also cases not scamming but like you buy a t-shirt that looks very nice the color looks cool and this size is this and you know and then after they come back it's like you know it's not a color it's not a size yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> indirectly it's also a kind of scam right because yeah. it's like it's not what it is right yeah and then the third thing for the love scams is this you know what's the emotions behind uh being involved with a person online that you have not met touch see feel Mm. So, um, the truth of the matter is this, uh, we all go through issues, we're all human beings. So, uh, some of the scams, right, uh, love, scams, uh, love scams particularly are those that went through issues, for example, a divorce, a breakup, a separation, right? And it's a sort of like, not just a rebound, but also the fact that they, they want to feel validated that somebody out there appreciates them and like them and love them. So it's like, oh, wow, you know, now I, I, can, I can sweep this painful suffering or whatever I'm going through, this separation or whatever that I'm going through. And there's this person that can replace me with the endorphins that I needed. Mm. So I feel happy, I'm in love, you know, yeah. kind of thing. So the minute that you replace that, right, then straight away the scammers are like, like as I say, they're very, very clever. These scammers are very clever. They'll target you, they'll look at you. They will look at your profile to say the nicest thing that you would like to hear, right? On top of that, right, they will abide their time to buy your heart, to get your heart. So what is one thing we should all think about when we're interacting with scam victims? Mm, I think compassion. I think um, at the end of the day, um, I don't think anybody asked to be scammed. Yeah. Let's put it this way. You know, and they came in, uh, with faith, with trust, uh, feeling secured about it. And uh, also, on the other hand, on the other side is what is moving you to be, you know, to want more, you know, to do more. For example, like you said, okay, if for $20 I invest, I get $50. What's behind that rationale? Is it greed? Mm -hmm. Is it more money? Is it uh, trust? Is it security? Is it what? You know, and, and before you think about it, Work the figures out. Twenty dollars, I get fifty dollars. That's like more than one hundred and twenty percent return, kind of thing. Which is like, is that even remotely possible? So that's one. Secondly, is like, what are you looking for? Why are you being scammed? Is it because uh, you felt like you're unloved? You felt that you know you you wanted something in return, and if you give something, you get something. Hmm. Example, for example, uh, love scams, right? Um, what do you hope to achieve? Do you hope to achieve happily ever after? If you pay for this guy's passage, if you pay for him to come, will he really come? And the third thing is pay attention. I, I find like every day we keep hearing of people being scammed all the time. And, and, and to be honest with you, the government is doing a lot. The police are doing a lot. They put standees, they put the flash everywhere, anywhere, you know, uh, MRT. Are we paying attention to all these things? But build up your self-esteem. Right. The greatest thing that you can do for yourself is build up your self-esteem. But do you think Singaporeans are generally uh, overconfident when it comes to other things like our banking, our passwords, clicking mm. on links? Mm. Or are we just careless? Mm. Actually, it's both. You know, uh, yes, we are very um, tech-savvy. 
Mm. Uh, except for probably dinosaurs like some of us. <laughs> uh, secondly, it's also I think that sometimes it's just beyond careless. Sometimes I just think that we want things fast, fast, fast. But yeah. why do we want fast, fast, fast for? If you don't want a fast relationship, fast money, fast food, fast whatever. After that, right? I mean, every day we have 24 hours, right? So even if you fast for four hours, it's still got 20 hours. <laughs> we have to do the 20 hours, right? And the, the, the other thing I want to wrap up by saying is this, you know, if you are a victim to a scammer, a love scam, don't blame yourself, okay? Pick yourself up. Uh, see, during your time of difficulty, challenges, if you need to see somebody, and I'm not, I'm not extolling or selling my services here, but do approach counsellors, coaches or mentors, you know, speak to them, talk to them, because it is during our most vulnerable time and most fragile time that we are most open to people who can spot that, take it and run with it, and then cost you more harm than good. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thank you for those uh, sort of like last words uh, to this conversation. I think those are very, very important because the truth is it's, it's a violation and they're coming into people's lives and mm. they're taking away things from us, sometimes even more than money, sometimes mm. a whole person's um, confidence, heart and vulnerability as well. Exactly. So thank you for that. Growing up in a fast paced world, I too always want things like that, but it's just slow down, take my time, especially mm. when I'm banking. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Marie, for being here with Welcome. us. And of course, City Joe Carson. Um, I've really learned a lot today and I hope that you have learned a lot too. If you'd like to share your comments with us, please leave them in the comments section. And if you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. We also have our digital NFTs out for sale. So if you'd like to buy a digital Carson, you can get him online. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you on our next episode. Until then, remember, stay safe, stay vigilant. See you on the next episode. Bye.